Hey there, thanks for stopping by and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I'm Ms. Devi Sundar, founder of Charlie Therapies and Breathe Thrive. By professional trade, I'm a respiratory physiotherapist and a psychotherapist. Today, let's dive into a topic that might make you think twice before asking, how old are you? Yep, I'm talking about the long age. It's not just about the years you've been around since you're born. It's about how well your lungs are holding up. So grab a seat, maybe a candle too, and let's get into it. Before I could go any further, I would like to express my gratitude to all those subscribers to my channel. And for those who have not already subscribed, please do hit that like and subscribe button so you get notified on my weekly content. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. You know, we all have been asked this question, how old are you? And we just blurt out the number of years we have been around. But really, shouldn't we be considering something more important than that? I'm talking about the health of your lungs and mental well-being. Let's focus on the first part of the question. The traditional practice of blowing out your birthday candle has been wisely been there. Uh, if we think back, blowing out a candle, uh, the flame of the candle, requires some long power. Ever heard of using a candle as a measure of long age? It's not that bizarre as it sounds. Blowing a candle requires at least one to three seconds of duration to blow out a candle. For that, you need uh, that much of long power to blow out in that very shorter duration. And it all depends on your lung health, how quickly you can blow that candle within that one to three seconds. So you need that long power. But if you think that it's only your lung that is actually doing the action, Maybe you might change after I reveal the truth behind it. When you blow out a candle, it's not just your lung, it is a teamwork of muscles that is helping your lungs to blow up that candle. Now I'm going to reveal the four important muscles that plays an important role in this action of blowing off your candle, which determines your lung power. The number one is the superstar of breathing, the diaphragm. It's all about expanding and contracting to let the air in and out of the lungs. Number two is the intercostalis muscles, so those guys that hang out between your ribs that helps to expand your chest when you breathe. And the third one is your abdominal muscles. Yep, your abs do more than just looking good at the beach. They help pushing the air out when you're exhaling. Fourth one is your accessory respiratory muscles, um, which act like a sidekick when things get uh, tougher for you and those accessory muscles are your sternocleidomastoid and the scalenius which is around your neck and your collarbone so next time if someone asks you your age consider thinking about your long age too blowing out a candle seems like a child's play but it talks a lot about your respiratory health. Just remember, it's not a diagnosis. For a professional diagnosis, um, a spirometry is a, a gold standard to assess your lung capacities and volume, which will be done by a, a healthcare professional. But hey, the candle test is a fun little test to understand how well your lungs are holding up. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and share with your friends, family and your network. Until next time, stay curious and keep those lungs healthy. Signing off, Devi Sundar.